Hi, welcome to Simply Mass Media. Today we're going to introduce you to the QNAP X63 range. This is known as its Golden Cloud VNAS. Any NAS that now comes with VNAS in its name is basically means that it supports virtualization station and has the ability to load its own virtual machines via its own KV app. So, the biggest differences between the new range of the X63 range and its predecessor, the X53 range, and the newer X71 range that is also out, that has been released at the same time. The X71 range comes with Intel processors, be it a Pentium, an i3, i5, or an i7. The X63 range is special in its sense that it comes with an AMD X86 quad-core 2.4 GHz processor with built-in radial graphics. The ability to have its own graphics card now allows this NAS to specifically support 4K output via display. This will be via the HDMI port on the back of the NAS and it can connect to a 4K TV and allow you to use QVPC via 4K. The other added advantage is it can also do 4K playback over DLNA, so you can now serve 4K files to your 4K TV. This is one of the first media outlets that will allow you to stream anything in 4K to your 4K TV. Uh, at the moment, the only other ways we're using VODs with the 4K TVs that you bought and the service on board of the 4K TV. This will now allow you to use any type of UHD video um, and stream it to any 4K TV. Most 4K TVs now come with Wi-Fi built in and are DLNA capable, which means they're able to discover your QNAP NAS on your network. This is for ease of use. It means your QNAP NAS, when you buy it from us, NAS bit tested and configured, all you have to do is plug it in, load up your videos, and start playing your videos and enjoy your media. The NAS in itself is quiet, which is great for a living room. If you're connecting it via HDMI, this, of course, you're going to use it over the network. The sound doesn't matter anymore because most likely it'll be elsewhere in your house. The NAS comes equipped with two RJ45s. These can be used separately for two IP addresses. They can be bonded and allow you to have a 2 gig uplink. If you are going to play 4K TV, we recommend you do get an 802.11 AD switch. This will allow you to bond the two ports and allow you to have 2 gig uplink, which means you'll probably have most be you'll have better performance when it comes to playing the 4K files. This will eliminate any buffering issues. Um, other ways to eliminate buffering issues if you don't want to buy a switch and bond the port is, of course, upgrading the RAM. The stock configuration comes in two SKUs. You have the X63-4G and the x 63 4 8G. That's a 4 gig RAM and an 8 gig RAM SKU. Both are capable of being upgraded to 16 gig. If you are, if you do initially buy a 4 gig SKU, of course you'll have to remove the 4 gig RAM and upgrade and add two 8 gig sticks to upgrade it to 16 gig. Um, RAM helps with front end applications such as video streaming and music streaming. Of course, with all that in mind, there's four USB slots at the back. This means Let's say this is your first NAS, you've got loads of data sitting on video files sitting on external hard drives. It'll be easy to back those external hard drives up to this NAS. You can also use the external hard drives later on as well to back the NAS up to and have an extra backup just in case. There's one power slot at the back. The power slot is inbuilt, so there's no external PSU for this. There's also an expansion slot at the back. The expansion slot will allow you to install Further LAN cards, you can either have a single port or a two port, one gig expansion slot. Again, when you bond these two in the expansion slot, you cannot bond these with the onboard slots. They have to have their separate bonding. Essentially though, this will allow you to have either four IP addresses to the NAS or two IP addresses by ways of bonding the two onboard and bonding the two expansion unit. The NAS also comes in four ranges. There's the 463, which is a four bay. There's a 663, which is a 6-bay, an 863, which is the 8-bay, and now they've also got an 863 Plus. The 863 Plus is still an 8-bay NAS. The only added advantage of the 863 Plus over all the other X63 range is the Plus simply is there because it comes with 10-gig ready. It's pre-installed. You don't need to install a 10-gig card. It's 10-gig base T, which is Ethernet-based. So if you have a 10-gig network, it's already ready to rock and roll on your network. The NAS, of course, if you look at it, is different to all the other NASs also. All our NASs from QNAP so far have had a nice dark case to it. This one, however, comes in a nice gold case. Makes it more presentable, means you can sit it next to your TV and it will look good. Um, from that sense, it's just a nicer NAS to have in your living room. Of course, if you're going to use it over the network, the look doesn't matter anymore, but it's nice to have around. It's also a different NAS because they've coloured it gold for the AMD processor and for the ability to have the 4K output, which any other NAS does not do currently. So we've talked about the basic configurations of the X63 range. Um, 
we're going to talk about now how to configure your NAS and the different types of configurations you can have. Specifically, we recommend the HGSD 4 terabyte drives, Desktop and NAS. These have the best failure rate, the best mean time between failures in the industry at the moment. The NAS drive in itself is meant for a NAS, that's why it's marketed as a Desktop NAS drive. The difference between the HGST Desktop NAS drive and the WD Red NAS and the Seagate NAS are this drive specifically spins at 7200 RPM. The other drives are at 59 and 5400 RPM. We have always had an issue with low power drives in a NAS. The main reason being when the NAS goes to sleep, low power drives take longer to come back up. Whilst your drive may not have failed, the NAS will recognize the drive has failed and eject it, and as such you'll have a degraded RAID array. So we always recommend using a 7200 RPM drive. These drives are great, 4 terabyte size, they come in 3 terabyte, 5 terabyte, and 6 terabyte as well if you need more or less space. With that, we also now provide our NAS disk packs. This is for ease of mind. NAS disk packs come tested and ready to use out of the box. You can either buy these as a bundle with the QNAP, and we'll test and install and configure the NAS for you with the NAS disk packs. All is included in the final price of the NAS disk pack. Of course, you'll pay for the diskless price of the NAS. The other advantage is, let's say you buy your NAS with two, three, four hard drives, but you've got a six, eight bay NAS. You can, of course, buy a disk pack later on in the future. This will allow you to have ease of mind again, knowing that you won't get a DOA drive. Um, they're tested. They'll always be tested under our NAS bit testing. You'll just have to expand your NAS, but of course, all our NASs are hot swappable, and expansion is very easy as a matter of putting in a drive and checking a checkbox in the web GUI to expand your NAS. This concludes our video on the X63 range. We hope you've enjoyed our video of the X63 range. We've also taught you which drives to configure the NAS with that are best. And you've, of course, learned the ease of use of NAS disk packs. If you have enjoyed the content of this video, please like and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified of new videos in the future. Of course, if you'd like to speak to us about either the NAS or this, the content of this video, you may give us a call at 407-960-4690. Alternatively, you can always email us at sales at cvnas.com. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.